Hey, what is going on everyone? This is Wicked and today I'm going to be making an overview of Resurrection Remix 5.8.0 RAW. It is based on Android 7.1.1 Nougat and the most interesting thing about it is that the camera is halfway fixed, although not perfect. Sometimes I still get the can't connect to camera error which annoys me a lot. What really surprised me about this new build was that it got a lot stable than the previous builds. I have played with it a couple of hours and I must admit I'm impressed about how fast and smooth it is. And why not, I should mention. If you're not really upset that you may have to soft reboot your device when you get a camera error, then this ROM should be suitable for you as a daily driver. As always, a quick disclaimer before I get into the overview. If you want to flash this ROM and you don't know how to do it, please check out my universal video on how to flash a ROM on an Android device. Also, I came prepared with a couple of frequently asked questions in order to save your time. Question number one. Does this ROM support exposed framework? No, Nougat ROMs do not support exposed yet. If you could rate the battery of this ROM, what score would it get? And uh, the answer to that question would be 8 out of 10. I was able to get a 3 hour and 45 minutes of screen on time from 100% to 15%, so it was, I was really satisfied with it. Does this ROM work on my X variant of Galaxy S4? This ROM only works on GFLT XX i9505 variant. So, after we came to an end with all these important facts, let's get into the main review of this ROM. Without further ado, let's get wicked. Maybe the most important feature about this ROM is the ability to customize almost everything. And by that I mean almost everything indeed. Starting from the lock screen, going through the user interface, the status bar, gestures, recent app panel, Everything is customizable on the go without the need to reboot or whatsoever. All these tweaks packed with the newest system implementations from Android Nougat will make your life more colorful. This is by far a ROM that excels in all categories. It would take me forever to show you all the personalization menus and that's why I'll skip them and let you test them by yourself. I will let you quickly admire some of them right now. You may be wondering, well wicked, with all these features and tweaks, the ROM must be laggy and sluggish. Not at all. Actually this ROM isn't slow by any means, it's blazing fast. Switching back and forth between apps has never been snappier before. Apps are well optimized on this ROM even if it's almost a 4 year old device. The Snapdragon inside it still gets the job done. Regarding the performance numbers I got with it, I ran an Antutu benchmark and got a score 38,480 points, which is actually really good. I also played Subway Surfers in order to test the game performance. I felt that it was not as optimized or as lag free as it was on Samsung's official firmware, but I guess it's because the games aren't already optimized for Android N. So, to sum up, this ROM is for those people who want an all-in-one ROM. Stable, if you don't really care about the camera app, fast, smooth and really, really, really customizable. Until next time, make sure you follow me on Instagram at Let's Get Wicked. 
that's where I post a lot of photos which I took with my Galaxy S4 and also with my DSLR. If you like my video, please make sure to thumbs up and subscribe right down to my channel. By doing so, you'll keep me motivating the, doing these kind of overviews. I wish you a happy new year. Take care. Bye bye. Wicked is out.